Constitution is like the Horcrux in Harry Potter. It is a piece of our founding father's souls that is still somehow still alive, ruling over the rest of us. Let me explain. My show, What the Constitution Means to Me, is, uh, is a recreation of a contest I did as a teenager. I would uh, travel the country giving speeches about the Constitution for prize money. I, uh, I would travel to big cities like Denver and uh, Fresno. I, uh, I would give a speech, win a whole bunch of money, and then bring it back to put in my little safety deposit box for later. I was actually able to pay for my entire college education this way. Thank you. And, uh, uh, a few years ago, I decided that I wanted to make a play about this experience I had as a teenage girl. Uh, it's a very performative style. It's, a, it's about storytelling, it's about thinking on your feet, and I thought it would be fun to create a live performance event in which some things were extemporaneous and some things were planned. Yeah, so at the end of the show, I debate live a real teenage girl. Different branches of government are overstepping their powers, voter suppression is rampant, and nine people have disproportionate power of our basic human rights. And communities of color, women, LGBTQIA folks, and immigrants have their rights violated on a daily basis. Thank you. Uh, uh, we have two champion debaters on our show, Thursday Williams and uh, Rosdeli Ciprian. We debate whether or not to abolish the Constitution and start over. This brings me to my final argument. If we abolish the Constitution, we risk sending the country into complete chaos. Our country is more divided than it has ever been. The only thing holding us together as Americans right now is the faith in this document. We may choose, we may choose to interpret it differently, but without it, we risk complete collapse. I listened to Griswold versus Connecticut, which is the case that made birth control legal in 1965. The thing I noticed when they were arguing this case is how uncomfortable they all were talking about women's bodies, talking about sex, talking about um, birth control. I started to realize that most of the protections we are guaranteed as, say, um, uh, women or or trans folks or uh, people of other of, uh, who are not white um, people of different abilities are not specifically laid out in the Constitution in any concrete way judges uh, as a kid I believe this document was a tool of justice I knew it was created by slaveholders uh, by people who did not consider most of us fully human but I believed in its genius and in its ability to transform over time. Today, however, I don't actually think it's failing. I think it's working perfectly. I think it's doing exactly what it was designed to do from the beginning, which is to protect the interests of a small number of rich white men. And yeah, we do this basically live every night, and at the end of the show, the audience gets to vote um, uh, whether to keep or abolish, that the younger people should get to decide our future. So. Uh, Thursday or Rosdeli, depending on who's debating that night, will get to choose the judge from this row of young people in the front. I believe we need a brand new positive rights document that actively rectifies the inequality at the heart of this country. I believe we need a document that protects all of us, because why? Why should most of us be banished to the margins of the Constitution? Why should we be on page 30, on page 34, or not even in this document at all because we're kids? We all belong in the preamble. Thank you. Uh, I feel like I want people to leave the show feeling like they've taken a a, a real look at, at what our country actually is, what this document actually is, and are hopefully excited about h how we move forward from this moment. I will say, in addition to that, I swear it's really funny. 